Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your weekday weekend where we left off last time. Um, I was doing some practice models for Too Tall Toby on his website. Um, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do today. Oh my, my hair is all messed up. It's all messed up. I did just roll out of bed. So, Pardon the long intro. I also um, went and got some breakfast. But I went and got some breakfast. I mean, I heated up some Costco pizza from last night. Um, you know, guys, Costco pizza isn't nearly as good reheated. Uh, most pizzas obviously aren't as good reheated, but Costco pizza really isn't as good. Like, and it's good pizza to start out with, too. I mean, really good to start, but... Huh. Um, so... Um... We will notice here... Um, bottom left corner there <coughs> that um, oh shoot hang on I forgot to change the resolution of my monitor otherwise you guys aren't gonna see half of what I'm doing okay there we go all right um you guys will see on bottom left there I did a few models last night on my own just because it's um it's kind of relaxing you know um that includes um the sheet metal ones um uh which were a pain because um I didn't remember how to do sheet metal very well I had to go rewatch a tutorial video. So, um, yeah. We're going to get started here in just a minute. I'm going to send a couple more Discord messages here. Um, let's see here. I don't think there really is anyone else to send a message to. Oh, well. There's technically one more sheet metal. We're going to wait for that one. I can't tell if this other one, the swoopy lofty, is also a sheet metal, but it's also a tier six. And I don't know if I'm feeling up for starting with that one today. Um, so, okay, here we go. Um, well, hang on. I know I keep switching back and forth. Give me a second. Uh, TTT challenges. There we go. Okay, now we've got our templates brought up. All right, let's do this tier four, shall we? Click to practice. <coughs> Excuse me. Click to begin. All right, guys, three, two, one, go. New tab. It is MMGS Steel. Uh, MMGS Steel. Um, okay. You know, the whole thing doesn't look too bad. Whole thing doesn't look too bad. Um, um, let's see here. Let's, um, How tall 
this bit is 180. This bit is 16. And then, no, 16. And then line, this bit is 22. And then, um, I must go down six because it's 10 there. Um, okay, let's do some equal constraints here. Already applied. Good, good, good. Let's do a mid uh, midpoint constraint here with the origin and then okay and then extrude this mid plane by 50 <coughs> excuse me um, and then we need um, some holes and we need some fillets the fillets are um, four millimeters one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. Um, should we let's wait for the fillets. Um, let's do the circle no, let's do the outside fillets first. How about that? Because we're gonna need them for the um the holes. Make them concentric. Um eight. Okay. And then C, N, um, through all, seven. Uh, concentric that and that, concentric that and that, concentric that and that, concentric that and that, shift E, through all. Okay. Next nugget, uh, 14, shit, 14, C, yep, there's 14, right, yeah, 14 down 4, seems a little big, um, 14, okay, concentric that and that. That's way too big. What? Are they not, um... They might not be concentric with, um... Hang on. I guess maybe they're not, con they're not concentric with the, um... With the corners it looks like they are in the drawing but maybe not right I guess not yeah they wouldn't be okay so let's actually um horizontal those and those shit and that's um yeah okay vertical that and that okay vertical that and that Already, what? Over constrained? I don't understand why. Okay. Yep, horizontal. So confused as to why. Or vertical. There we go. And horizontal, that one, and that one. Okay. Cool. Um, the space in between them is 30. So hang on, let's do a midpoint there, there, and there. Uh, vertical that and that. 
Why is that not like, what the hell is going on here? What the hell? Okay, let's just select all and delete it. How about that? Seven. 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 They're all identical. Now, vertical, that one, and that one. And then vertical, that one, and that one. Horizontal, that one, and that one. Horizontal, that one, and that one. Now, Okay. Now, why is it saying this one is now, I did not give this one a, yo Libre, I love you guys so much, but also like, your automatic constraints sometimes really piss me off, because all I did was land it here, and now I'm stuck with this constraint that, there we go. I landed it there by mistake and now there we go okay so 30 no dimension <clears throat> 160 okay what's wrong with them oh okay now shifty through all what why why is that not okay oh because it's the same sketch okay that's fine <clears throat> Now these ones are concentric, 14, 14, 14. These ones are concentric with these holes. Unable to determine a solution. What? Okay. Uh, minus four. Okay, that took way too long to put those holes in. Um, let's put in one of these. Um, towers. I don't know what to call it other than. Okay. Start a sketch on that plane and hide the planes. Um, ooh, I didn't realize that below them it needed an additional. Damn it! Hang on. Hang on. Um, I missed that for sure. Okay. Um, equal constrain that and that, and then equal constrain that and that, and then distance that and that is eight. And then that and that is, yep, that's 10, that's fine. And then this guy is 69. Cool. That's that's correct. And now I didn't really need that plane, but that's okay. It's my first one of the day, so I'm a little I'm a little off. Um Okay. And then 
Let's see here. Um, I need an arc. That is... Yeah, same as radius of 25. Yep. Vertical, that with the origin. And then horizontal, that, that, that. And finally, distance is 55. And line there, line there. And then um, we'll wait for the through hole, I think. Um, 10 is our extrusion minus 10 okay and then let's go ahead and do this rib here on that bit um, uh, use that and that and that reference figures let's hide those planes L okay uh, actually this we want to convert to regular figure L and then up there somewhere okay and then 35 degrees there we go extrude mid plane by how, how big is this rib eight okay now um, 33 oh okay and then extrude that reverse um, oh, of course, 69 minus 42 over 2, and then I have to reverse it. That is what I need. Okay, and then bring up my planes. I need to mirror that and then that and that all along that okay and then the inner circle that goes through is 16 concentric there through all and then finally, I think it's just the fillets. I think it's just the fillets. There, 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 there. And the fillets, the 10 yellow fillets are four millimeters. Okay. 13.16. That was right. Good. I'm way slower than average, I'm sure. I'm about average. Okay, interesting. I mean, I took forever getting that one going. I could have done better with that, but it's my first one in the morning. And average, I think I am fine with. I think I'm fine with average there. I think I'm very much fine with average. Um, so... Shoot, which one was that? Need a number, anybody? Uh, 240702. Uh, 240702. It's going to go in the actual challenges folder. Okay. Back to practice models. Okay. Tier 5. You ready? Go. Uh, IPS alloy. 
Uh, IPS alloy. Um, this doesn't look too hard, actually. I am quite happy with this. Believe it or not, I am. Believe it or not, I am happy with this. XY plane. Let's center ourselves. We're on it. Okay. Um, let's do the regular polygon tool for this um, shape, for this triangle. Um, horizontal, that. And then how big is this regular triangle? It unfortunately doesn't really say. It has, okay, five eighths. Jesus. Um. <clears throat> Okay, I see what it wants me to do with this. I see what it wants me to do with this for sure. Okay, it wants me to do a sketch fillet. Um, shit, I didn't look at how big the fillets are supposed to be. There's three quarters of an inch. Uh, 0.75. Okay. And then sketch fillet. Where'd he go? There he is. And then that is, again, three quarters. And then right there. Oops. Uh, sketch fillet. Okay, and then what's our issue here? Oh, they're not all equal anymore. Equal that and that, equal that and that. Okay, we good now? Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, the inner circles are Five eighths. And then distance there and there is 3.5. Okay. The whole thing is three eighths. And then we need. We need this um, tower guy. One and a half inch tower. Okay. Um, 1.5. And then extrude it up. The whole thing is four. Four inches minus three eighths. Four minus eighths okay and then a half inch bigger one the bigger one is two and a quarter extrude reverse 0.5 oh, minus 0.5 okay and then finally um, seven eighths inches through. Seven over eight. Shift E through all. Okay, there is that boy. Uh, hang on, there's a smaller one too. Where is the smaller one? How big's the smaller boy? One and a half down by one quarter. Right down by uh, minus point two five. Okay, there's that guy. Good. And then finally, um, 
finally these these ribs um, I'm gonna have to, to do it properly I need to make a new plane uh, 45 degrees right uh, that axis yeah that should be right okay I give it a sketch there and then from geez from this like inner wall here if we use that as a reference figure the edge of that will tell us where that wall is so um, <clears throat> Basically, an inch away from that is our um, okay. Is our start point, and then because it's like. I have to do the extra part because of, yeah. Okay. So this is one. Nope. Uh, this to this is one. And then this to this is 2.5. Okay. And then um this bit is just that that's fine okay and then let us um, extrude this mid plane by how wide are these ribs one quarter cool that's correct and then if I do planes and I do circular pattern and I do that and I do the center is that then I have four of them and I think that might be all of it. Um, is there anything else? I don't see anything else. 1.21. One. Nice. Seven minutes. Again, it's a little slow. I had to think about how I wanted to do the triangle. Oh, I could have done it faster than that. I'm above average again. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Okay. Uh, 240703. Um, 240703. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, Next one is tier four. I guess let's see what I can do. Uh, okay. This ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. Okay, okay. How should I, I think I should do it on one sketch for the front bit, ooh. Ooh, I don't know how I should do this. It's got, um, it curves in on the inside. Do you guys see this right here? That's a weird shape. Um, okay. No, I get exactly how to do this. Okay, 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 okay. I got, I got this. Um, this is MMGS ABS. I'm wasting time here. I haven't even opened any Libre document yet. Um, line on the YZ plane, set ourselves to the YZ plane, L, um, it is how long, 225, Oops. and then we're going up by 40, and then center bits 125, whole thing is 225, so subtract 125 from that, we got 100, which means each of these is 50, I 
think. Could be completely wrong. Um, 120 minus 40 is 80. So this is 80. And then 125. And then down 80. This should be precisely 50, yes. Okay, and then let us center that, 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 coincident that on that. Okay, and then extrude, how deep is the whole boy? Uh, mid plane, it is 85. Nope, 95, 4, 85. Okay, and then let's um, add this center cut out here because I'm most worried about that. Um, 40, so it is on this. So let's, um, let's use all this geometry here. Reference figures, maintain association. Let's, um, let's equal the, and that. And let's mid plane or midpoint that, and let's um, midpoint that, and let's um, twenty six to the rear. Oh my gosh, I guess pretty well. And then eight degrees either way, so sixteen degrees total. And then um, I just need to know how wide the whole guy is. Um, is that 80 at the front, I'm assuming? There's no way for me to... I'm assuming it's is that at the back or at the front. Um... I don't know. The lower part comes down four degrees. Jesus, I'm going to have to. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this at all. Maybe I can do it as a, um, okay. I think I can do it as a, um, a draft, right? Let's assume that the front part is 80, I guess that it is the front that it's talking about. Let's extrude it, uh, oopsie, let's do a shift E, don't reverse, um, to geometry there. I know that still worked, but, and then let's do a draft there, uh, the neutral plane that, uh, one, two, three, four, no, two, three, four, no. Okay, that was, um, that's the neutral plane. How about that? There we go. I think that's right. Okay. And then, um, let's do fill it there and there. How rounded is that? That's 42. Okay. And then let's add my interior fillets here. The red is all 10. One, two, three. Let's put that as 10 so I'm not ruined here. Four, five, six, seven of them. Anything else? I think I got them all. Okay. And then let's do some chamfers. 
Um, how big are these chamfers? Um, 16 by 45. 16 by 45. Okay, and then um, <sighs> okay, these holes are interesting. 24 by 90 and a 12 through all and then it goes down by 20 so if I um, see uh, it's a 12 through all vertical that and that distance that distance that and that what's this distance here 20 and then I might as well do the second one which is another 12 and then distance between that and that is 54 and then vertical that and that okay shift E through all okay and then let's add a chamfer to these guys um, 24 by 90 What? I don't understand. Oh, the hole itself is 24 with a 90 degree. Okay. So, I think I figured that out that it's supposed to be like 12. Or no, the difference between the two and half of that. So, 6 by 45. Yes. Okay. That should be correct. Yes, it is. It looks. Okay. Um, and then C there. And then these are 16 through all. 16. 16. Vertical. That, that, that. And then the distance between the two is 86. Hello? Thank you. Uh, 186. Okay. And then let's midpoint. Okay, what am I missing? I, I know I verticaled that. Okay. Um, shift E through all. Okay. And then it's... 31 down 12. Concentric that, that, concentric that, that, down, minus 12. Okay. Uh, four, 1243.1. Cool. I am so happy with that. That was hard. That was very hard. That was very, very hard. But we got it. That's a weird part. That's a really weird part. But um, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Uh, 240704. 20, oh, 240704. Okay, practice models. Uh, let's go. Um, just a tier three, huh? We'll see about that. The photo looks kind of tricky, actually. Um, okay. Yeah, the photo looks really tricky. MMGS steel. 
MMGS Steel. Um, okay. I guess it doesn't look too bad, but it's still really weird. Um, I guess I need a slot to start with, I think. Or maybe I just do this whole base plate in one go. Let's do that. The whole base plate. Like it's weird, but let's, well, yeah. Um, shift A that, that, and then that, and then L, and then comes down a bit, and then over, and up, and then over, and then that shift A. Okay, first things first, midpoint, that, that, and that. And then horizontal, that, that, and that. Okay. And then pull that down. Next, this is 66. No. 66. Wow, that's actually about right. And then next, 50. There. And then um, 188 there. And then 16 here. Now that's already done. Okay. Um, Forty six from this to that. Okay. Tangent that and that. And then I think there's an easier way to do this, I'm pretty sure, but I I don't I don't know. I find this more reliable and faster for me personally. Okay, how thick is this? Fourteen. A shrewd fourteen. Okay. Actually let's go back and put the holes in because we might as well. Edit. Um and they're eighteen. Both of them, I think. No, this one's 18. This one is 22. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, nine wall there. Is it a nine wall all the way around? I'm assuming. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a wall of nine or not. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay. Nine. And then... Ooh, that's 50. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I might have screwed this up. Yeah, this is not 50. This is not 50 at all. These are R23. There we go. I think that's better though. Because it's 50 for the width of this guy. Okay. Hide the planes. Let's start drawing here. Okay. Um, oopsie. Um, use that and that as a reference figure. I'll probably have to do more than that, but for now, um, for now that's fine. Okay. 
um, uh, L and then this goes up something like that um, what is this like extra angle here what's this 18 bit oh 18 before it drops into the angle okay this is 170 and then this is 18 okay what's this whole angle here though 28 okay and then an R50 uh, D50 uh, let's go to the and then um, let's do a line here um, actually let's just use uh, that line as a sketch figure and then um, that doesn't seem right this doesn't seem right at all R50 because that would only go about there but in the photo it goes like that 46 use that Reference figure, maintain association. Distance between that and that should be 46. Yes, so that is right. Um, this is 170. Um, this doesn't seem right. 18 from the top. Yeah, because this would only go like there, so. So is my whole. Is my whole thing wrong? Is my sketch one wrong? 188 between those two? Yes, that is correct. I mean. Um. Tangent that and that, and then distance that to that should be no. Okay, it's not okay. I, I screwed up here. Um, um line up. Like that, and then this is thirty five. Okay, and now let's um, let's delete that and let's redo it because I don't know how much is gonna break and how much is gonna work. So let's um, use this as a um, sketch figure. Maintain association. And then I think that has all the extra info we need actually. So 170 by 28. Oh, I guess minus 28. 170 by minus 28. Ah, okay, whatever. I'll do it manually. 170. And then twenty eight, and then ninety degrees eighteen. Okay, shift A. 
What, why are you not working? That should be constrained. There we go. My mouse has just got some, uh, my mouse has got some, um, drift in it recently, guys. Okay. That is better. That is much better. Okay. Tangent that and that. Tangent that and that. Okay. How... I guess there's not a straight. Hang on. Coincident that and that. And then um, that actually is going to be like that. Okay. There we go. I think that's right. Now that's 50. Fat fingers. I do it all the time. And then... I need to create a plane of um, nine and then I need to um, on this plane I need to use uh, that 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 and that as uh, reference figures and then whew, offset that 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 and that by no actually I need to um, use that and that still and that sketch figures well actually not that one um and then go n 9 for this one and then this needs to come down this line um, and then perpendicular there like that that's what I need to do and then extrude the whole thing was 50 so 50 minus 18 oopsie uh, 50 minus 18 Reverse it. There we go. Is that the whole thing? I think. Am I missing a part? Let's just find out, shall we? 2697. 2697. That is right. I'm going to be way slower than everybody else. That was a hard one, actually, for me. I'm about average. Okay. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm um, not as up to par with this one here. Okay, 2705, sorry, 24705, uh, 24705, practice models, let's do the next one, shall we, shall we, shall, shall we, what the fuck am I talking about, okay, next one. Tier four. Go. Uh, MMGS ABS. Um, this guy this is supposed to be a toy bit. Interesting. Um, it has a hole in the middle and a spherical bit in the middle that they're just not showing the bottom of okay so 
if I show my planes and I do X Y plane am I on it I am and I do a polygon it is a hexagon and then I do oh there's the bottom I just didn't see it because I'm fucking blind 42 42 no uh, horizontal that and then I do 42 I don't know why that said it was fully constrained when it wasn't um, okay and then how tall is the hexagon part oh it's got a fucking like fill it I don't even know how to do that okay either way 60 okay let's um we'll have to do that in a minute um p this um hide the planes and then uh l it's a 90 degree countersink inside a 16 whole things up to a hundred oh, I can't do this bit yet can't do this bit yet okay um, activate a sketch there it's just a circle that is 33 and then extrude that how tall is a circle bar part um, that's 60 so 133 minus 60 there we go and then um, uh, 33 so 40 more from here 40 I know this is kind of a weird way to do it but I'm just gonna do it as a loft the small one is 10 okay and then I'm gonna loft um, from that to that no tangency um, okay and then now I can do my uh, inner bit sketch um, Um, like this then shift A like that tangent okay and then this and this is 45 and then to the top of it is 100 and then um, problem is oh it's it is not 90% so this is right what the heck okay oh the whole thing is 16 so 8 and then Um, 35 over 2. Okay, so now, um, that doesn't matter. I have, um, that axis. That's fine. Shift S, hide the planes. Okay, we have that in there now. Um, and then we can add this like 120 degree whatever the hell is this hang on did I add the radius of 8 is that what that is it is okay okay just making sure like I didn't add that just needed to make sure that was right okay let's um do another sketch there um, use that as reference figures um, 
No, use them as reference figures. There we go. And then L. Um, 120, vertical, and then this is fine. And then uh, shift X, P, P, shift X, that sketch, that axis. I'm moving too fast. This one isn't Delibre's fault. Okay. Finally. Um, let's work on this plane again. Um, hide my planes. Use that guy um, it's a reference figure maintain association okay I would love a close-up of that up there but it ain't gonna happen okay distance between that and that is 153 and then it's a 35 degree angle inward. I think that's all I need. L. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I need. Um, I can mid-plane extrude that. How big are they? Five. Mid-plane, five. And then P, circular pattern, that guy around that axis. I have planes. Uh, one, five, one. Gotten them all first try this time, which is good. I didn't even look at my time. Seven minutes and five fifty-three. Cool. I could have done more of it in one sketch, I suppose. Um, the cone and this cylinder could have been one sketch. I don't know if that would have been faster though. Um, either way, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Actually, I could have done the inner part and this whole thing in one, in one. Yeah, I could have and revolved it after I made this guy. Well, no, that wouldn't have worked. Okay, either way, I'm happy with that. Uh, this is 240707. Okay. Um... I might need to head out soon, guys. I know it's been a short one, but also no one's watching. So, oh well. Um, I have five more to do. Do I want to do one more? It's tier five. No, I got places to go. I don't want to get um, caught up in this last one. So, anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Remember, on my channel, every day is a weekend. Remember to hit follow. Join the Discord for more weekend vibes. Join the website. Join the website. Check out the website. Um, maybe you can join the Discord server if you wanted to. Uh, man, I'm freaking dumb, aren't I? Let's try this again. Hit follow. Remember, onto my channel every day is a weekend. Check out the website for more weekend vibes. Join the Discord if you'd like to get in contact with me and some of my friends. Uh, maybe join the Minecraft server. Uh, check out the YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I'll see you guys next time, next weekend. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone watching this in the future, because no one's here. Bye. <laughs>